Hello and welcome to the talk show. Another exciting season. And we are a consumer-friendly merchant show keeping you up to date on the latest releases, their rivals, hot topics and fun facts. Today we are coming to you from Daytona Santon and with me is the sexy McLaren 650S MSO Coupe coming in just under 4.6 million rand. But it's not about this sexy beast. Let's see what today's show is all about. Coming up on the show, we meet the car of the year and introduce its rivals. We up our skills on the skid pan and we answer some much asked insurance questions. Holding nothing back, let's introduce to you the South African Guild of Motoring Journalists 2017 West Bank Car of the Year winner, the Opel Astra 1 litre T Essentia, which was elected by a 28 member jury. And the finalists included Audi A4 Sedan, Honda Civic, Hyundai Tuscan, Jaguar F Pace, Opel Astra. Renault Kaja, Toyota Fortuna, Volkswagen Passat, Volkswagen Tiguan. So what made the Opel Astra stand out and is it consumer friendly? We were curious and got one to taste. Check this out. Is a firm favorite of the family and today most of them still owns Opals so when the Opal Astra won the car of the year for 2017 my heart swelled a little with joy and I was left wondering what is it made of just taking a look at its lean masculine sexy shape I can't wait to test its brilliance so let's get started where it all matters the engine So the petrol engine, which is not yet available in a diesel, only if the demand is high enough, comes in at 77 kilowatts of power and 170 newton meters of torque. It's only one of three engine derivatives, being the middle child, the 1.4 turbo Ecotec, and the big sister, the 1.6 Ecotec, which pushes out 300 newton meters of torque in engine overboost. Taking a look at the interior, lack of storage space to store your little odd bits was highly criticized by the test team. Um, taking a look at the middle console, this compartment above the gear lever just seems a bit complicated. And the tiny slot that they provided to store your smartphone just isn't big enough for most to safely hold most smartphones. Apart from that, it is quite easy to connect your phone to Bluetooth. You just press media, select Bluetooth on your phone, pair your device. Of course this should be done when you're standing still. Choose Opel Astra on your phone, confirm the password and you are paired. Now you can listen to your music, something that is extremely important. a blend of materials really offer a stylish finish to the interior and the car passes the flick test. With 
the weather just able to change at a moment's notice in South Africa. It is really good to know that when it rains, this car grips to the road. Flicking your windscreen wipers to auto activates the rain sensor. The windows are big enough to allow you enough visibility in the front, sides and in your blind spots as well as in the back. Power steering makes a huge difference and with a turning circle of 11.1 you are bound to have great fun. This car is not only comfortable, it's also very safe with six airbags, one in the drivers, one in the passenger, two on the sides and two airbags. The 48 litre tank will make you smell consuming only 4.4 litres to 100 kilometres. Taking a look at the boot, and you are provided with plenty of space. You'll also notice that Opel Astra went the extra mile and put in some riffles in the back. That is to secure all your little loose items that you might keep in the boot. Looking at everything that this Opel Astra has to offer, you might be wondering, will it put a dent in my pocket? At 264,300, this car definitely will not. You get a lot of extra features and it is incredibly safe and such a pleasure to drive. Thank you, Opel. Still wondering whether the Opel Astra truly is the car for you? Hoping to find greater practicality, better fuel consumption and greater value? Let's take a look at your options. For greater practicality, you're unlikely to find a more practical C-segment hatchback than the Astra. So, if it's even greater versatility you're after, you may have to consider a crossover. At the price, you can have your pick of the Renault Duster or Renault Captur, the fast-selling Ford EcoSport or even the smooth Suzuki Vitara. Out of that bunch, the Duster is the one that offers the most space. For better fuel consumption, whether you're looking at claimed figures or real-world consumption achieved in our testing, the Astra appears to be unbeatable at the price level. For greater value, once more, this specific Astra is quite aggressively priced and offers a good mix of features. So, spec for spec, it is not easy to beat. However, the entry-level Focus 1 litre T ambient is around 10,000 Rand cheaper affording you the opportunity to add some missing features and still undercut the Astra. But the Astra is now the superior product. Taking a look at the specs for the leader of the pack and it is no surprise why the Opel Astra is a firm favourite amongst many. The 1 litre turbo engine of the Opel Astra Hatch Essentia will have you reach 0 to 100 kilometres per hour in 11.2 seconds, hitting a top speed of 200 kilometres per hour. Average fuel consumption has an impressive figure of 4.4 litres per 100 kilometres with an added feeling of comfort knowing you get a total of 6 airbags. The Ford Focus Hatch 1 litre T ambient is also quite impressive, accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in 11.1 seconds, reaching a top speed of 192 km per hour. Its average fuel consumption is 5 litres per 100 km, 4 airbags come standard, as well as a 4 year warranty time, with the warranty distance being 120,000 km. The Renault Captur has a slightly smaller engine than the Ford Focus, but you will find that it is quite nippy when the turbo kicks in, accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in 12.9 seconds, reaching a top speed of 171 km per hour. Its average fuel consumption is also efficient at 4.9 litres per 100 km. Four airbags come standard with the Renault Captur, along with a five-year warranty time and three-year service plan. The Suzuki Vitara 1.6 GL, however, will have a slightly heavier average fuel consumption of 5.8 litres per 100 kilometres. 
but it does leave you with peace of mind knowing that you will get seven airbags standard along with a three-year warranty time and four-year service plan. The 1.5-litre engine in the Ford EcoSport 1.5 Ambient will have you go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 11.6 seconds, reaching a top speed of 175 km per hour. The average fuel consumption will be slightly higher than the Suzuki Vitara 1.6 with the Ford EcoSport giving you 6.5 litres per 100 km. And lastly, taking a closer look at the Renault Duster 1.6 Dynamic, reaching 0 to 100 km per hour in 11.5 seconds, hitting a top speed of 165 km per hour. Average fuel consumption lies at 7.6 litres per 100 km, with four airbags fitted as standard. The Renault Duster comes with a five-year warranty time at a warranty distance of 150,000 km, as well as a three-year service plan. And it seems like the Opel Ashtar was indeed a worthy winner. We like to keep you informed on the talk show, so do write to us at the talk show at alien7.com and tell us which car you would like to know more of. If you were wondering, I'm standing in front of the very rare Brabus SLS, which sports a 6.2 litre V8 engine and comes in just under 4.1 million rand. Don't go anywhere. See you after the break.